today I'm going to be talking about the um, optical bench lab that we're going to be doing um, later on in, in class. A couple things with, that you need to know about it. Um, when you come in, what you're going to need to get is basically a plastic bag that has all the pieces of equipment in it. You're going to need to get a meter stick. And then you're going to need to get two lenses. One's a concave lens and one's a convex lens, and the, and the little envelopes are labeled. Be careful with the lenses, they're, they're glass, so please be careful with that. Um, once you get the stuff, go to one of the lab tables, uh, and you can start setting it up. Basically, what we're going to be doing with the optical bench lab is looking at some images through lenses, taking some measurements, and then doing some calculations on the lenses. So I've got what I have here is, from the plastic bag, I've got everything laid out. A couple of supports for the meter stick. There's a candle in there. This is the, uh, this is the lens holder. This holds a little screen. There's a paper that's in the bag that's not the screen. I'll give you the screen. It's nice and clean. And then, and then this little clip just simply holds the screen. The paper that's in the bag is used for the candle. Um, I want you to put it underneath the candle so that wax doesn't drip on the tabletop and I'll, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. It puts together pretty easy. The procedure also describes how it goes together but the little stands support the meter stick. Uh, the screen goes in one part of the meter stick. The lens support will, will slide in the other one just like just like as it's shown and on the procedure there's a very similar picture to it so there's three parts to the to the um, there's three parts to the lab the first part uses the convex lens and so you just take it out and put it in the lens holder um, um, be careful with this lens holder it's pretty flexible it bends out it bends in that's okay to get the lens in what I suggest you do is that you pinch the lens holder shut a little bit and then it's a little bit springy and the lens stays in there pretty securely. And then the lens just goes on the meter stick. And now we're ready to work on our image. The first image you're going to get, I have, um, I'll have an image projected up on the board and I want you to project that image onto your screen. So I'm going to turn off the light so that we can see it a little bit better. Um, why don't you come right around here so that... So up on the board, <laughs> we see that just that green triangle, nothing really fancy. That's the image we're going to try and get um, on our paper. And what you just have to do is point the entire meter stick to the board. And the easiest way is just to get behind it and line it up, adjust the meter stick and the screen until the image appears on the screen. Can you, can you see that very well? Yeah. And so that's what we're looking for, this little image right there. Um, I want you to record all types of characteristics about it, um, whether it's inverted or not, um, where it appears, whether it looks smaller. We need to get the measurements from the meter stick from where the lens is to where the, um, to where the screen is. Because this distance right here is called the image distance. The distance from the lens to the board is called the object distance. And with those two numbers and the guidance that's in the procedure, you can calculate the focal length of the, of the lens. And so that's part one. You're using the image on the board, project it onto the screen, get these measurements, um, and then calculate the focal length of this convex lens. Part two is kind of similar except instead of using an image on the board, 
we're going to use a candle. The image is a lot closer. Here's where I want you to put the piece of paper underneath the candle so that, um, so that it doesn't trip on the tabletop. And then just, just like what we did before, I'm going to adjust the distance from the screen to the lens so that the image of the candle is on the screen. Can, can you see that very well? Yeah. It, it gets, it's a pretty clear image and, it, and you can clearly see a good sharp image of the, of the candle. And so here we're gonna take the same distances from the lens to the screen we got the distance from the lens to the candle, and using those two numbers, we're gonna calculate our focal length for the lens again. So we're gonna calculate the focal length for the lens two different ways, with an image far away, or with an object far away, and the object a lot closer, um, with the candle a lot closer. Part three, not two, part three, of the um, of the lab involves using the concave lens. The concave is a diverging lens and so we're not going to get a real image with this lens. So doing this part of the lab is a lot trickier and technically we're not I'm going to use this more as a mirror than a lens and I'm going to go back to the image and I'm going to use the image on the board again. And this time I'm going to, using this as a mirror, try to project that image onto my screen. The easiest way to do this is you just hold on to the lens, you hold on to the paper, you kind of adjust it so that the paper is a little bit below the lens until you get the best image possible on the, on the, um, on the paper. It may not be very good. It may just end up being a green blob, but that's the best that we can do with the, with the concave lens. So I'm gonna try and do it here, and then we can see what it looks like. I'm gonna turn off the lights to see if that's, um, so let's see if we can this part works best. Okay, all right. Can you? All right. You can kind of see on the paper, you can at least see the bright spot right there. <laughs> and and I can, I can kind of make out the green triangle. It's upside down. And what I want is when I get the best image possible, measure the distance from the paper to my lens. And that's, and that's going to be my image distance. This is the same idea as if I was, this, this is working as a mirror, and the, and the point where the mirror is gonna be focused would be the same with the lens. So by treating the concave lens as a mirror, we, we're gonna use that to estimate the focal length. Once we get that image on the paper, we measure the distance from our screen to the lens, we have the distance from the lens to the board, and we can calculate focal length. Now, that's, that's the lab real quick. And to be honest, there's not much more to the lab than that. You do need to read the procedure to make sure you get the correct measurements. The procedure, and in class, we're gonna practice these calculations, these lens equation calculations, you need to make sure you do the calculations correctly. Um, meaning sometimes there's a positive sign, sometimes there's a negative sign. When, and we're gonna do this in parts. We're, we're all gonna do the first part at one time, we're all gonna do the second part at one time, we're all gonna do the third part at one time. You have one class period to get these measurements done and then it's going away. Then you'll have to do the calculations and we'll talk about when the lab is due later on. One thing to keep in mind, this introduction to the lab contains a lot of information. Information you're gonna to need to answer the questions for the lab. Read it. 
I'm not going to go over the lab, just like the last time. I'm not going to go over the lab. I'm not going to explain it to you again in class how it is, how it works. This, your, your knowledge of the lab is based on reading the procedure and working it. So make sure you read all aspects of the, of the procedure before um, you attempt the lab. When you're all done, I want everything taken, put back into the plastic bag. Everything goes away, and then we'll work on the calculations.